seeing that. Atlanta Academy only have the two ultimates. They will have the three with the support ultimates. Rally is going to be popped here very soon. And so self-destruct EMP is there. E Bernard is going to get the one kill onto Saucy, so no particle barriers for anybody. This is a bad news bearers for Atlanta Academy right now. As Hawko bringing this back, so this is actually even. And with that transcendence, Atlanta Academy are going to maintain some presence on this point so far. And what started off as two kills from Fusion University are going to end in a loss on that defense. Oh, wow. You would think that Bernard's bomb catching just the tail end of Saucy's kingdom. Darkman's oh. going to go down thanks to a frag from Alarm. So this is a 6v5 from Fusion University. And the Reinhardt oh. and the Brick are going to be knocked down. This means that they're going to be some environmental kills from Ajax and Atlanta Academy. But that's not going to be enough as Fusion University are going to end up getting the... And now we are heading into that ultimate phase of the game, my friend. Fusion University has six. Atlanta Academy has five. And the ultimates are going to be coming out. Still taken very, very low. But the heals are there. Transcendence is going to keep him alive until he wakes up. Graviton Surge coming from Fusion University. Chunk 6 is going to get the first two kills. The Blizzard is as well. And so Atlanta Academy is done. And somehow is still alive. First that are going to knock two from Atlanta Academy. Shoot 3 will be the first to fall. Sound Barrier now coming from Fusion University. But look at this. Gator is going to get a double charge kill. Evening this thing up. But not for long. It's Fusion University are going to take things into their own hands like that for Fusion University. Yeah, it looks oh. likely. There's still a barrage online, but with the loss of the main tank, Fusion University probably going to beat a hasty retreat. No, they're still poking around the edges, waiting to see if they could get a pick themselves. This is dangerous territory. Oh, oh hello. Hawk in the 2K on that self-destruct. There's something here using to attack. Oh. As the Transcendence is going to save Snillo. Snillo got very aggressive there. They're, without the Transcendence, they do not win this fight. Really good offensive use of that ultimate, which we don't see very often. No alarm, not just good for fragging or defensive trances. They have a huge advantage coming into this fight, particularly since Atlanta are already lacking those numbers. Chongsik with that primal rage oh. not finding a ton of value, but the Graviton Surge is going to find a little bit more as Fusion University are going to lock this up and go up 1-0 against Atlanta Academy in that game, but that's kind of where it ended at Moxie. There was no actual result. Yes, you can't just know the theory, you must be able to execute as well. I mean, it was all in... Self-destruct, got a 2k at, the, at you know, during Busan. That was pretty much the best case for them in terms of ultimate usage. Fusion University, you know, we talked about that, you know, 1v1 matchups. Gator, you know, versus Chongsik, Bernard versus Hawk, uh, Dogman uh, versus Alarm. And right now, I think Fusion University are winning almost every one of those. Yeah, Fusion University, even though they're not showing maybe as fresh of those... Yeah. Hawk and Atlanta Academy are going to be victim to that unwilling hug on that Graviton Surge, and their HP bars aren't long. They're long gone. <laughs> Academy, this is going to be it for Atlanta Academy. The Earth Shatter is going to knock Chopstick onto the ground. The pin is there, and so is the self-destruct from Hawk. So Fusion University definitely on the back foot on this defense. They're going to knock an opportunity to defend Fusion University. Don't need no nice. They're doing it without them. Fusion University now on the point. They really want to take this. They don't have much longer to go, but Atlanta Academy doing some work right now. Sugar free with those double kills. Hawk that transcendence is urging his team to go forward, make something of this big investment. Graviton Surge in a big fall. And there we have it, a Pernar Classic comes up with three and a half. University setting themselves a very easy condition right here. They only need one tick. You saw right there, Gator, the first one to go down, going a little bit too deep. You have to, he has to remember that there is a bird in the eye who doesn't need to be walking on the ground or those walkways like the rest of us peons. You know, that last attack from them here on Nambani. Hawk, you know, very, very quiet. You know, the clip, I'm going to use it again. They're, you clip his wings, right? Yeah. It's uh, The Hawk's not really flying very high in the sky, a little bit more like an ostrich right now. Uh, no, and Ostrich is very ground laden. It was actually a really good heads up. They're looking to eat oh. that up. Wow, with Bernard going down, nice oh, ultimate needs yeah, to be yeah. a huge one. Elk also has that nano. Oh, oh and a great cock mine from Sugar Free. That is a boop if I've ever seen one. And now with the rocket barrage on the back of some big conditions under our own hands, and Sugar Free does just that by getting the kill onto Chong 6. So Atlanta Academy have a 6v4, but things are evened up just a little bit with Dogman going back to spawn. Gators can use their Earth Shatter, get Alarm onto the ground. The pit is there and will connect on it to the pillar on the outside on the left, but Bernard gonna get the kill onto Ajax. I love what they're doing here with Fusion University. Nice on that Diva, Bernard on that Zarya. You know, you did mention that Bernard does have a good Zarya in that back pocket. We're seeing exactly why right now is Fusion University do get another defense. Yeah, that's Time on the clock. They can lock things up by giving Atlanta Academy their first loss on Assault. Oh, look at this decision making from Nice. It's incredible. I mean, ATL, of course, they, they could say, oh, well, as a diva trying to contest that point but between the sleeps and the focus fire it just wasn't quite enough yeah we have two undefeated teams remaining fusion university in a group b a 
and Group B with second wind on a top. I don't know, I just wanted to say it. So anyway, Fusion <laughs> University now own this group, and now it's all about making a statement here on our escort map. Bernard winning that D.Va matchup. Hot playing well, but again, 60 Sigma Transcendent Sire coming out from both teams. Alarm going to be getting a little bit more value as he goes second. Saucy going to drop that Graviton Surge and get value out of that as well. Saucy getting the sauce on the Fusion University. What kind is it? Uh, right now, Shreya Free and Stella are going to knock each other on the ground. Our shatter's coming both directions. X marks the spot, but more for a nice Sugar Free going back to spawn. Fusion University finally get a defense here. There's only a minute and 28 seconds left for Atlanta Academy to finish out 66 in on one kill, not recognizing, hey, if we keep this trans by our spawns, then every single person that, you know, trickles out of our spawn is going to get some of this trans healing too. Maybe Fusion University getting a little too over eager in that moment. And by the time Chongsik reappeared, uh, there was no support for him to be had. Yeah, Chongsik didn't have that support. Chongsik, of all people, finds Dogman. Oh, good EMP. I believe that catches the Tracer as well. Saucy was able to get out of there, but not for long. Nice playing some good Sombra throughout all of Route 66. Bernard taken very, very low. They're unable to get the last 20 HP off. They have to go with... Oh, wow. I was, I was looking at the Pulse Bomb. Saucy going to get the kill. The, the Bongo not going to get very much value from Fusion University. Ajax gets a double kill there. That means the rest of the team has buttered up the rest of Fusion University to allow Ajax <laughs> coming from Atlanta Academy. Going to find a little bit of value. But now the Sound Barrier from Fusion University are going to keep everyone alive except Snillo. Sound Barrier coming in second. Atlanta Academy were able to use their ultimate second for the majority of this fight. And that might be why they're ahead on this fight right now. The Transcendent's not going to be doing a lot, but it's going to be doing enough for Fusion University. A Chongsik and Bernard are going to come back here. Atlanta Academy had an opportunity to take this fight. Really good stuff from Fusion University to cash their check into a map finish. Don't know if things would have been a little bit different if Hawk hadn't thrown out that early self-destruct. Didn't do much but buy more time off of the clock. If ATL could have gotten a clean wipe, uh, Fusion University may well have been stopped in their tracks given their tiny, tiny... Uh, Still going? Uh -huh. You know, you're like, there's like, gotta oh, be someone what? here, right? There's one more and you have to backtrack a little bit. Sugar Free you know, was cosplaying as that situation. Atlanta Academy, you know, they're, at least they weren't at 0.00, .00 but they're definitely in one fight territory right now. Alarm oh. getting Gator into the end. That's a big noggin for him to get that arrow into, but the body's gonna be enough. It's two kills coming from Fusion University. This is a 5v4 right now. This is gonna be an easy take on this yellow box of victory. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> Fusion University will be sweeping Atlanta Academy in the end here. A dominant performance in this first place matchup. Doing it with style. It's like, we're gonna go, we're gonna make it happen, right? Fusion University are a little bit better, a little, you know, they're the note takers, <laughs> right? They're the ones that, you know, verbatim, you know, they'll write the notes and then present those notes, right? And that paid off here. Yeah, there, it's certainly one of the reasons that they play GOATS so well, but it actually wasn't on GOATS that they were shining all this series. It was on Quad DPS, on Pharmacy and Sombra.